Hi everyone, it's Kevin again, and this video is not about drones, it's actually more about video editing and a way that you can make more interesting intros and outros to your videos completely free of charge. All these intros that you are looking at right now were made free of charge via a site called panzoid.com and what we'll do is I'll go in and I'll just show you sort of a real basic, very quick, easy tutorial on how to make something. And once you get the basics of it, you can go in and sort of make your own intros and outros after that. This will just get you into the site and show you the basics of how to use it. So this is an online tool. So the first thing we're going to do is fire up our browser and we're just going to go to panzoid.com. Either type it in the URL bar or just do a quick Google search on Panzoid. If you do that, the first site that pops up is panzoid.com usually is what pops up first. Just click on that and you'll see you're into the site. First thing you see is a video editor for those that don't have their own video editor backgrounder for making thumbnails, and a clip maker. And this is what we're gonna focus on today. As soon as we go into clip maker, the first thing you'll see is a menu, new project, load project, and save project. Pretty self-explanatory. If you save a project file, it saves it to your PC and then you load it back online from your PC. Yeah, let's get right into this. Go right to basic settings, click on that little icon there. See, you got your video resolution. Uh, for YouTube, standard high def is good. Uh, you've got a frame rate, 30 or 60. Might as well choose 60. And your length, uh, you can make it whatever you want. I usually pick around 9, 10 seconds. Doesn't really matter. Anywhere in that time frame is good. Okay, now let's go and add an object. Start out something on our scene here. Click on that icon, add object. You've got shapes. Start by maybe adding a box, a rectangle, something like that. And here we're gonna make this as the background. Uh, so once you go into, click on that rectangle and you can see that you can now adjust the size of it. And by just moving that back and forth over top of those values, it creates a different size for the rectangle. And if you click on that little eye icon there, the toggle, uh, what that does is it changes the view from editing. The view you're now going to get when you click on that is going to be the view that you will see on the actual video itself. So if we go back to that view and then you go back and toggle and change the size, see now you can adjust it and you can fill it to the screen to exactly how big you want it. Now that we've got this rectangle background the size that we want, we're just going to go in and change the appearance a little bit. You can pick a single color if you want. Uh, and that sort of looks like if you pick red, you have a completely red background. You can go in and pick a texture. We've got some different textures there. Let's take a look at how that looks. Um, if you want to do an image, this is what most people are probably going to want to do is choose an image right over here pick image uh, I'm just gonna pick one that I've saved here on my PC let's choose that one let's go in there and click that and now you see if we look at the toggle here and that's what it's gonna look like when you look on your video that's what it's gonna look like so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a little bit of light and we're gonna go back up to add object and just click on light like that and it will add light to the scene and it will it'll let you edit the properties of it and we're gonna go back to the edit mode and I'm gonna stop talking here and I'm just going to let you watch the video for a little while so you don't have to listen to my voice drone on anymore for a little bit and I'll just play around with the settings and you can watch
Okay, so that's probably good enough for playing around with this. Uh, you get the picture, um, just play around with the settings. Let's go up and add some text. Let's just go up to add object and go down to text. Click on that. And right away it comes up with clip maker. We're gonna change that to something else. That's the default. So I think for this, we're just gonna use, uh, let's type in tutorial. And maybe we'll change the font. Uh, let's pick something a little bit different. How about Orbitron? That looks good. I'm gonna stop narrating again and I will go through some of the settings and you can just watch and see what they do. Okay, enough playing around with that. Maybe let's start out with a different background. Let's try and find something that maybe matches the text, material and text a little more. And now we're on to the next step here. Uh, we're gonna go over moving the text around because a lot of people will want to have their text come in from the side or come from down above, uh, maybe come from the front and head into the background. There's different ways you can move the text around and that's what we're going to look at next. Okay, go ahead and click on text. Go down to the position setting and those values you see there are what control the movement. On the left hand side, that's what moves it left to right. Uh, the middle one moves it up and down and the right hand side moves it forwards and backwards. So moving the text around is easy enough, uh, but we're gonna have to have a starting point and an end point. And this next part that we're gonna go through is very important. You're going to create a key point and it'll be at the beginning and then you're gonna add another one and put it somewhere in the middle of that graph that's on the bottom. And that will be your start and end point. You can have some key points in the middle there's lots of ways you can do this. I'm gonna sit back again. I'm not gonna go over every little detail. Uh, I'm just gonna go through it and you can just sort of watch and see how it's done. So the next thing we're going to need to do is add a key point. You're just gonna go to position, rotation, scale, one of those, and you're gonna click on the plus sign and it's gonna add a key point. And you're gonna slide it out into the spot on the graph where you want it. That's it. That graph is a timeline of the whole intro clip that you're doing. You're going to pick the spot that you want and then you're going to set a value for that. That might be the end value and then the far left hand side is going to be the start value. So I will sit back again and I'll just go through this and let you guys watch.
there you have it. A basic intro clip. It's pretty basic. It's just some text that comes in and moves around. Nothing too fancy. Uh, but I hope this gives an idea of what it can do. The next thing, of course, is we are going to want to save this. Uh, once you save it, you can upload it back onto Panzoid. And you can go ahead and keep adding changes. You can keep making it more complex. Uh, and it's easiest if you just save it. So right now, let's go ahead and save it. And now for the last thing that we're going to cover on this video, and that is creating a clip by using one of the templates. Uh, this might be the way that people prefer to do it. It's it, You can go in and look at all the various templates that are on there, and if you see one that you really like, you can go in and edit it, make a few changes to the way you want it. You can change some colors, you can change the text, that kind of thing. And I think a lot of people are actually going to like this way of doing it. So let's kick into that. I'm just going to go in and do it. You just have to go to the main site, refresh the page, start all over, and you'll see all the templates there. Okay, now that you have played around with all those settings, the next step is to render your clip and save it as a video. Uh, so once uh, you've got to that point, just go to that little symbol there, the little download symbol, click on that. It's going to bring up this other menu here. Uh, good quality if you're using YouTube, that's perfect. Uh, then you click on that and you're going to see it's going to tell you there's X amount of minutes left. And once it's done, you're going to come to this download your video. Just click on that and down it goes. It's going to download it for you. I guess we'll end the video here. I hope this video was a help to some of you. And if you have any questions, just send me an email at uh, surrealskiesyyc at gmail.com or leave a comment in the comments field and I will be sure to respond. Other than that, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.